welcome back in this lecture we are going to implement the use case one which is for each with maps for a resource okay so the meta argument for each we are going to use with maps and then going to create a s3 bucket for multiple environments using a single s3 bucket resource okay so let's go back to our github repository so we are in hashicorp certified terraform associate and 04 terraform resources and 0404 meta argument for each okay and here you will have v1 for, for for each maps and then v2 for each two set okay so in v1 you will find the maps related c1 and then c2 files and for uh, uh, v2 you will find for c1 and c2 for iam user related uh, two set means like set of string stuff okay so now we'll start with v1 for each maps so in step two we are going to implement for each with maps okay so we'll get into the folder v1 for each maps and create these s3 bucket resource and then implement it step by step okay so let's go back to our terminal and go to 04 ter terraform resources and 0404 meta argument for each and inside that we are going inside v1 okay so we have two files c1 and then c2 and then in we'll go to our visual studio code here and in 0404 in c2 s3 bucket we'll write the resource required for us okay so this is the documentation link for creating the s3 bucket if you want to reference it so we'll go here and then sample s3 bucket we can copy it from here okay so we'll create a s3 bucket resource using for each meta argument okay so let me go here and i can say this as instead of b i'll say my s3 bucket as the local name so if you see here resource block inside the resource block okay so this is the resource resource type is aws s3 bucket the block type is resource and inside that the resource type is aws s3 bucket and local name of it is my s3 bucket and bucket name something here and name and then environment all these are the values okay so acl is going to be provide for this s3 bucket so now let's start with making this little bit uh, uh, related to for each with maps okay so let's go here and start with uh, control space and i will say for each okay so and you are writing a map here so when you are writing a map you need to use the flower brackets for us okay so let me remove this and uh, here we will define okay so you are writing a you are adding a for each argument okay so i can say here as for each meta argument okay and i'll say something here key value pairs in a map okay so dev is equal to so my d app bucket okay so in the same way we can write it for multiple environments okay so i'll say this as qa and then this as q bucket q app bucket okay so let me space same and i will say this as tag okay and this one as s app bucket okay in the same way this one i'll say it as prod and my p app bucket just something like this okay and now as we know for for each we'll have something called each dot key and each dot value to reference the information from the map whatever we have created here okay right so my bucket name i want to put it as each dot key hyphen each dot value which means my bucket i am expecting it as dev hyphen my hyphen d app hyphen bucket okay so which means each dot key is dev so let's first write the each dot key hyphen i also want the each dot value so i'll say dollar and each dot value so let me remove these things yeah so now my bucket name is going to be dev hyphen my hyphen d app bucket and for all the things it will be the same format dev qa staging and then prod and here also environment i want it to be each dot key okay so i can directly reference it so no dollar and then flower backlets are required here so i'll say each dot key in the same way i want the 
bucket name also in my tags okay uh, i can give as is this one okay and if you also want to see what is present in each each dot value right separately in a tag just say each dot value each value as my tag name and then tag value is each dot value so this completes the creation of the s3 bucket okay so we are in the v1 folder so we can start saying terraform in it before that if you want standard thing we'll go ahead and then review the c1 versions so from here on i'm going to use required version as tilde greater than 0 0.14 okay so which means any version okay e uh, equal and above right so equal and above 0 0.14 like 0 0.15 0 0.16 also i can make it work with this respective terraform version okay means like the required version can be 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 anything okay so like that i am trying to put it here if you see in the previous one we took the rightmost subversion okay so here if you go to depends on right so 0 0.14.6 so here you can say which means uh, anything uh, greater than or equal to 0 0.14.6 and okay less than 0 0.15 okay so which means anything 14.6 or 14.7 or 14.8 is allowed here okay and less than 0 0.15 this is what here we have defined but when we come to from meta argument count so all these things i am trying to give you different examples at every place so that uh, it uh, memorizes for you completely okay so with you so that's the reason i am trying to put these things at every place okay right so let me minimize this minimize this and we are here so with that said the terraform uh, required version the cli version which uh, can be anything from 0 0.14 onwards 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 anything like that okay so that's what i am defining so that i am trying to generalize the terraform version here okay right so that's about and rest all terraform block and provider block as usual going to be same so now let's uh, close all these things and s3 bucket open close and let's go back to our this one okay and i'll say terraform in it and it will download the respective aws provider for us okay so where is it so here is the thing so aws provider 3.x whatever latest is available it will uh, download okay so as on today it is 3.30 it is downloaded so i'll say terraform validate to validate my terraform manifest and uh, then i will also say terraform fmt format and i will also say terraform plan and then see what will be the plan output for this okay so we have set the terraform plan and uh, what will come from this we are going to see now so the plan is generated so let's see what it is going to show us from top okay so if you see it is going to create aws underscore s3 bucket uh, dot means like aws underscore s3 bucket dot my s3 bucket of dev means like it is creating a dev bucket here so if you see the bucket name dev hyphen which means each dot key hyphen each dot value okay in the same way for tags also each dot key hyphen each dot value okay in the bucket name also right in the same way if you see another bucket for prod okay and for QA, so in count you have seen 0, 1, 2, 3 in these uh, square brackets, but here you are seeing the each dot key value here, okay? So that's one important thing and then difference to be noticed, okay? So I'll say Terraform, apply, and then auto approve. So and go back here, go back to EC2 here, and go to S3 buckets and then see that whether our s3 bucket got created so if we say my here so if i say my so you can see dev my uh, my d app bucket prod and then qa and then staging all got created now right so that's about it so if we go back here so terraform plan observation completed we have four s3 buckets created using a single 
terraform resource aws s3 bucket but behavior of the resource block got changed the moment we added the for each meta argument okay and now we can go ahead and then destroy and then clean up and then close this demo okay so i'll set destroy and then here also i'll use auto approve so that these three four s3 buckets will get created uh, deleted and then we'll also clean up the resources here okay so one is backup folder i don't need it and then i don't need the dot terraform star uh, and then i also don't need the state files here okay so with that said i have c1 and then c2 file for us okay so now this completes the use case whatever we are discussing which is for each with maps okay so in our next lecture we'll focus on use case 2 which is for each with iam user okay so for each with a set of strings for implementing iam users in aws so i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you